In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to send uplink messages from an interface to the ThingStack Community Edition network. And I will also demonstrate how to send downlink messages from the ThingStack Community Edition network to an interface. This presentation can be found at this location. All my LoRa LoRaWAN tutorials and presentations can be found at this location. In this video, when V3 is mentioned, V3 refers to the ThingStack Community Edition. I have written a detailed tutorial how to send messages to and from the ThingStack Community Edition. Navigate to this page, this web page. In this video, I will not go step by step through the detailed tutorial. Instead, I will only show the most relevant information. I will be using this end device to send uplink messages to the ThingStack Community Edition network. I will also use this end device to receive downlink messages from the ThingStack Community Edition network. This end device has the following components. An Arduino Pro Mini, 3.3 volts. The Hope RF RFM95 LoRa transceiver module. Connected to it a sleeve dipole antenna, 868 MHz. A simple button switch. A DHT11 sensor. This sensor measures humidity and temperature. Two LEDs, green and yellow. One kilo ohm resistor. And two 220 ohm resistors. These two. An FTDI FT232RL. It is set to 3.3 volts. A USB 2.0 cable. This is USB-A and this is the mini USB Type-B. These are six female to female jumper wires to connect the FTDI to the Arduino Pro Mini. And these are in total 19 male to male jumper wires. These are female pin headers, eight pins, in total four pieces. These two and these two. And of course, this is the breadboard. 
The humidity and temperature is transmitted from this end device to the ThinkStack Community Edition network. This button press is transmitted from this end device to the ThinkStack Community Edition network. From the ThinkStack Community Edition network, I can enable these two LEDs. When the hex value is 0, 0, then both LEDs are off. If hex value is 0, 1, then the yellow LED is on, but this green LED is off. If the hex value is 0, 2, then the yellow LED is off, but the green LED is on. And if hex value is 0, 3, then both LEDs are on. In my Arduino IDE, I have installed the Adafruit Unified Sensor version 1.0.2. I have installed the DHT Sensor Library by Adafruit version 1.3.0. And I have installed the MCCI LoRaWAN LMIC library by IBM, Matthias Koeman, Terry Moore, Shahe Won, and Frank Rose, version 4.0.0. The Hope RF RFM. 95 LoRa transceiver module does not have a built-in dev AUI or app AUI. For the app AUI, 8 bytes, you can use a value with all zeros. For the dev AUI, also 8 bytes, you can generate a dev AUI in the ThinkStack Community Edition console, which I will demonstrate in a moment. I am logged into the ThinkStack Community Edition console. My region is Europe. Select go to applications, add a new application. This is my application ID. This is my application name. I leave the description field empty. Press this button, create application. Add an end device. My end device is built by myself. So I will select manually. The LoRaWAN version is Mac version 1.0.2. The regional parameters version is Phi version 1.0.2 revision B. The frequency plan is Europe 863 to 870 megahertz. Planning factor 9 for RX2 recommended. Click this link. Make sure the activation mode is over the air activation. Class A only, that is correct. As mentioned earlier, my end device has no built-in dev AUI and app AUI, so I will press this button, and the app AUI will be all zeros. Copy this. This is dev AUI, and generate the app key. Press this button. Copy this. The first value is the dev AUI, and the second value is the app key. Press the button, register end device. This is the end device created. Let's add a payload formatter. Click payload formatters. Select uplink and select JavaScript. For this tutorial, I created this payload formatter. Copy this payload formatter. Press the button save changes. This is the generated dev AUI and this is the generated app key. The dev AUI must be converted to an array of 8 bytes in LSB order and the app key must be converted to an array of 16 bytes in MSB order. I have created this online tool to do this. Copy the dev AUI, paste in this field and copy the app key and paste in this field and press the convert button. Copy this array and copy this array. This is my Arduino sketch. Replace the def AY, this value, with this value and replace the app key, this value, 
with this value. As you can see, this is my Arduino sketch. This is the modified dev AUI and the modified app key. In the Arduino toolbar, select Tools. The boards must be Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. The processor must be Atmega 328P, 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz. And this is my port. Upload the sketch to my Arduino Pro Mini. And the upload is finished. Here is the accept join request. And here is the received payload. The humidity is 33 and the temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. And the DHT sensor sends the second payload. And here is another data. Let's press the button. And you can see the button press is received. Again, press this button. And again, you see the button press is received. Let's switch on the yellow LED. Select end devices. Select this end device. Select messaging. Select downlink. Select push to downlink queue, append. Change F port to 3. Payload is 0, 01. And press schedule downlink. And as you can see, the yellow LED is on. Change the payload value to 0, 02. And press schedule downlink. And as you can see, the yellow LED is off, but the green LED is on. Change the payload value to 0, 03. Press the schedule downlink button. Both LEDs are now on. Change the payload to 00, zero and press the schedule downlink button. And as you can see, both LEDs are off. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.